The topic is solving Cauchy Euler equations and this is the case 3 where we get conjugate complex roots. So the method of solution is right there. If you have ax squared y double prime plus bx y prime plus cy equals 0. The Cauchy Euler equation, then the characteristic equation is am m minus 1 plus bm plus c equals 0. And in the case if we get two complex solutions alpha plus i beta and alpha minus i beta, then the solution will be x to the alpha c1 cosine of beta ln x plus c2 sine of beta ln x. Alright, so let's solve this equation to x squared y double prime plus 3x y prime plus y equals 0. So the characteristic equation we said right here, a m m minus 1, remember my a is 2, my b is 3, and my C is 1. So AM is, let me write it, AM M minus 1 plus BM plus C equals 0 means 2M M minus 1 plus B is 3, so 3M plus C is 1, 1 equals 0. I'm going to distribute 2M times M is M, 2M squared minus 2M times 1 is 2M plus 3m plus 1 is 0. Now this means that 2m squared minus 2m plus 3m is 1m plus 1 is 0. Um, so using quadratic formula, m is equal to minus b minus 1 minus plus square root b squared is 1 minus 4 times a times c 4 times 2 times 1 is 8 divided by 2a which is 4 this is equal to minus 1 minus plus square root of negative 7 over 4 which is minus 1 minus plus i square root of 7 over 4 so my m1 is equal negative 1 over 4 minus i square root of 7 over 4 and then my m2 is minus 4 plus i square root of 7 over 4 so my alpha is negative 1 over 4 my beta is square root of 7 over 4 now the solution, I'm right there, the solution is supposed to be x to the alpha c1 cosine of beta ln x plus c2 sine of beta ln x. So all we do is plug it in, alpha and beta. The alpha, actually alpha is right here, negative 1 over 4, c1 cosine. The beta is right there, square root of 7 over 4 times ln x. So same thing here, sine of beta is square root of 7 over 4 times ln x. And that's my solution. And that's it for this example.